Our work starts with the children. We then support the caregivers and parents by helping to build their skills. And we strive for sustainability by working with local partnerships within the communities. Education is not free in Haiti. Even the nominal school fees prove more than most families in Haiti can pay. WWO provides free, quality early childhood programs to children without access to preschool. And our youth interns receive life and job skills as they deliver our programs to these eager young students. Stellan Nassion was just 13 when his life was turned upside down. He lost his father and only his uncle accepted to take care of him. Living with his uncle was difficult with little food and limited ability to provide clothing and pay school fees. Sterling connected with the program of WWO at this critical point in his life. He participated in the positive youth development courses where he met friends his age and started learning how to use computer took sewing classes and built critical decision-making skills. He joined the internship program and went through the element of play training, gained job skills, and earned a stipend to work with children in the community. He invested this money into completing his own education. In a country where only three in five children make it to sixth grade, Sterling flow perseverance and hard work stuck with it, paying for his own schooling all the way to high school graduation. Sterling says, I have learned so much and I feel more responsible. I have developed strong friendship and good values. I have reached my first goal of finishing high school. Now, I hope to go on to universities. Since 2005, we have been dedicated to the children of Addis, providing holistic care for children that we took into care in 2008, who have now become the beneficiaries of our community-based youth support programs by conducting camps for children living with serious illness and by delivering play-based preschool programs. Our WWO Academy proved to the government that a preschool education allowed children to seize a time of rapid brain growth and improve their educational trajectories. Now, the original 67 preschool students have been enrolled in public schools, and we have trained nearly 100 public preschool teachers in play-based learning, reaching nearly 2,000 students in the first half of 2021. WWO is creating a culture change in teaching moving children from route memorization to joyful learning. Mehret has just been promoted to the first grade. She spent two years in the WWO Academy before she was enrolled in a public preschool. She and her father live in a small neighborhood of Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. She has two younger and six older siblings. The family makes about 45 USD a month and somehow this stretches far enough to provide at least one good meal each day. At school, Mehrat was quick to repeat the teacher's word when pointing at an object like cat, cat, dog, dog, but quite otherwise. WWO's partnership with the government preschools meant that Mehrat was able to spend part of the school day learning through exploration, creative experiences, and building her language skills. Her father remarked that Merit is a wonderful role model for her younger siblings and that her initial developmental delays were eliminated due to the support of the WWO teachers. She too hopes to be a teacher one day. He went on to say, our daughter was so happy to see the learning space opened at the government school and to see her former WWO teachers. In Bulgaria, a long history of marginalization is our biggest challenge. 
and we are fighting it with early childhood development programs, life skill programs for parents, and through strategic partnerships that provide health care and social services that are critical for social inclusion and dignity. This is Silvia. Silvia is 25 years old. Uh, she is living in Belenci. Belenci is uh, 400 uh, people uh, village in Bulgaria. But in, in Belenci there is no preschool school. Therefore, uh, Silvia attended uh, the school in, uh, in the village of uh, Roma. <coughs> uh, she graduated, finished, uh, against the odds uh, being a Roma, she, she finished uh, the seventh grade. Um, but then she got pregnant, she met the love of her life, and uh, she, she got married. And at the moment she has five kids, um, and the sixth one is on the way. Uh, here in uh, Belenci, uh, this is the, the learning space library where we we play together with, uh, with uh, Sylvia's kids and uh, kids from the village. Um, we learn how to play, we learn how important the play is. Uh, we, we can uh, communicate with other mothers and other parents uh, from the village. Uh, apart from, uh, from the games, uh, they also attend the um, life skills program where we uh, give a lot of advice it's related to health, uh, healthy cooking. For the children that we help in Vietnam, the staples of family, food, and shelter are not certainties. Providing life skills for these children who are being raised in orphanages and government institutions is essential because these children must learn to fend for themselves by the age of 16 when they will no longer be housed and fed by the government. Anne doesn't remember much about the first seven years of her life, but in 2008, when she was only seven years old, she was found abandoned in the hills of rural Vietnam. She was in critical condition, suffering from severe malnutrition and the ravages of tuberculosis. She weighed only 16 pounds and was 24 inches tall when she was admitted to the orphanage of Bavi. Dr. On, WWO medical advisor and pediatrician, went to Bavi together with doctors from the Columbia University Hospital to help the center staff bring Anne and many other children at Bavi back to health. WWO began working with Bavi in 2006, building the capacity of their staff and implementing programs to support the health and well-being of all of the children. As Anne and her Bavi siblings created a new stable life. They received comprehensive care and life skills from WWO. Today, it is miraculous to watch and interact as a leader in training in our camp programs, to hear her discuss her plans for the future, and to see her healthy and happily engaged with her Bavi family. This past year, she participated in the Puppy Care Project, learning about leadership, compassion, and experiencing the therapeutic connection with the pet. Anne has grown from the malnourished, lost child of 12 years ago to a strong, confident, happy young person who is planning for her future. We could not have done any of this without you. Thank you so much for keeping our children in your thoughts and for continuing to give to WWO.